Hi guys, so I just wanted to hop on before we start and show you um, kind of two different chords and two different spacings of how I use the knot I'm about to demonstrate. So this was done with a five millimeter braided cord and I've pulled the knots in the center here, the joining ones, um, closer to get together to give it more of a knitted look. And then over here for this wall hanging, you can see I left more space in between to show more of those crisscrosses um, in between all of them, just to give a cool kind of texture to it. Anyhow, I just want to show you what we're doing before we started. So to start this pattern, we're just going to attach all of our cords with a reverse Lark's head knot. How you do that, you just fold your cord in half, you find the center point, we're going to loop it over the dowel, open it up, and pull these th two through. Okay. Now, just to demonstrate the first one, I'm just gonna space it over here so that I can give you a clear view. So we're gonna take four cords, and we're gonna take the outer two, and we are going to crisscross them behind so that these two are coming down. And then the next step is gonna to be to take the center two, keep them lined up, and loop them through this center part. So I'm just gonna go in and grab them. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And now I'm gonna tug on these outer ones to pull it up. And then as I do that, I'm gradually gonna give those a little tug as well until you get all the way to the top. And we have these two loops there and then the two coming down. We'll do that again. I'm going to do one row the whole way across and then I'm going to show you how to attach them with the crisscrosses. So once more, we're taking the outer two. We're going to cross them behind. Okay. Now we're going to take those center two and we're just going to take them right through that center hole. Now that the first row is done, we're going to start the second row. Um, so I'm going to show you if you want to go straight down and then if you want to go down into a V as well. So we're going to take this one, this outer one, and we're not going to use this one this time. We're going to use the very first one on the next knot over. Okay, so this one and then the first one from there. And we're just going to push that extra one behind and we're going to use these two to do the loop again. So we're going to go one, two, and then we're going to pull those right through that loop. So you can see that nice braid type look starting. And now to knot onto this one, we're gonna use that one that we left out from there, okay? And the first one from there. So we're gonna take those two, we're gonna go behind, and then loop those two through the center. So 
So now you can see that first little cross there. Okay. And then once more, we're going to use the one that's coming out from there. And then the first one from the next knot over. Leave that one out. We're going to crisscross behind those two. We're using that one that we just left out, this one. And now to finish it, we're using that one and we're going to use that one, okay? There you go, the first row of crisscrosses in between there. And of course, if you want this to be closer knit like the market bag, then you would just pull these tighter as you go along and these would come together so you get more of that like cable knit, knit, uh, cable knit stitch. But for now, we're just gonna do it like this so I can demonstrate. Now, if we want it to come down into a V, what we're going to do is so we're not going to knot right here. We want the next knot coming down on the second row here. So we're going to take one from the previous one and one from the one over. And that's how we're going to do the knot if we want to come down into a V shape. Okay, now for the next one, we're using that one that was left out from above. This one, 